Thank you for taking the time to watch this short instructional video. Today I'm going to explain how to use the load search page. In order to find the best load for your empty truck, you will first need to tell us a little about your empty truck. You can do this using the filter at the top of the page. The first field in the filter is Origin City. This is the field where you will input the name of the city where your truck is or will be empty. For this video, let's assume I have an empty truck in Kansas City and am looking for a load. I will type Kansas City in the Origin City. I can then use the Tab key on my keyboard to move to the next field. The next field is Origin State. I will type MO for Missouri. The next field is Origin Radius. The Origin Radius will let us know how far away from the Origin City you would like to search for loads. I will use the slider and increase my search radius to 150 miles. The next three fields can define the desired destination. You can use these fields if you are very specific about where your load must go. For this example, I will leave these fields blank so that I can see all of the loads available in and around Kansas City. Now that I have entered a city, state, and set a search radius, I can move to the load type field. You can see that the default is all trailer types. I'm pulling a van trailer, so I will go ahead and open this menu and select van. This will exclude all other trailer types from my search. The next field is load size. Here I can select whether I'm looking for a full or partial load. In this case, I will choose full. The next field is ship date. Today is Friday, October 11th, but my truck will be empty on Monday, so I will go ahead and select Monday's date. Now that I have defined my search, all I need to do is click the search button. You can see that there were 94 matches to my search. That is quite a few to go through, so I will go ahead and narrow my search radius a little more. I can simply go back to the top of the page and slide the arrow down to 50 miles, and then click search again. Now you can see I have 28 matches. Now I am ready to look at the matches to find a load. <clears throat> as I scroll down through the load, you will notice that the color of the load changes as my mouse moves over it. If I stop on a load for more than a few moments, the load will expand and give me additional options. In this case, I am looking at a load from Kansas City, Kansas to Houston, Texas. In addition to the origin destination and trailer type of this load, you can see that I also have access to the credit score, as well as deadhead and trip miles. For this load, the credit score is 97. If I click the credit score, a full credit report will be loaded into another window. You can see that this load has a deadhead distance of 31 miles, and the loaded miles for this trip are 796. I have several tools that will help me to sort and track the loads that I have looked at or called about. Let's assume that I'm not interested in this load for some reason. I can click Hide Load, then I choose the reason for hiding the load, and click Save. This will cause this load to be grayed out on this and all future searches I perform. I can also add a note to any load I choose. To add a note, I simply move my mouse to the load. Once the load expands, I click Add Note. You can see that the subject of the note is pre-filled with the origin, destination, and the company name of the broker or shipper. I can now type the information that I want to remember and then click Add to Notes. Once I have decided on a load I would like to haul, I can use the round trip button to automatically do a search for loads that will return me to my current location after I deliver this load. For this example, the load I am looking at is Kansas City, Kansas to Dubuque, Iowa. If I click the round trip button, a reverse search will be loaded that shows all of the loads from Dubuque, Iowa back to Kansas City. This search is loaded into a new window and won't disturb your current list of results. When I am done viewing the round trip results, I can close the window and continue viewing my original search results. I hope this video has helped you to understand how you can use the load search page to make your business operate more efficiently. Thank you for watching and thank you for using Direct Freight Services.